Hey there, folks. Rinianti here, and welcome back to Blade Princess. Thank you, Stripe Hero, for the code. You're welcome. Uh, last part, we While actually. I appreciate the mental exercise. We are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Do you mind? Nevertheless, let me assure you the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Did I like accidentally? And before you decide to waste. Okay, I must have accidentally clicked something or something. Um. Anyway, yeah, so last time we found a new princess, we found the tower, and that got weird real quick. So let's go to the cabin. Proceed. We're not gonna take it this time. Um. Let's silently go Good. on. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. Let's see how much silent protagonist. I'm gonna try silent protagonist this time. I don't think it's gonna you work. Walk down the. No. Um. Let's examine the chains. Why not? Your own. Um. Any other idea? Return. Like panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before. No oh gosh. Um. What's this life? Without hesitation, you bring the blade. Oh, right, this is. Uh. Though your nerves are seizing okay, with pain, you know her. you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. We can still turn this around. Uh, give up. Are you serious? History. Can I see history? Uh, proceed. Think this is Thorn? A warning. Proceed. Um. Blade. The blade is. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This Thorn. And her. Oh, uh, maybe. Hunter. Oh no, it's Beast. It's Feral, okay. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. And a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Um... Do a quick save. Move. You land to the side, picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body. The princess. In an instant, she's pounced on the spot where you would have been, her chains rattling across the floor behind her. Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. You still feel her gaze on you. You're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive, prey. You whirl around to find her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. So she's cut off our escape. Shit. What do we do? Um... We don't have to kill each other. What if I helped you? What if we left together? If you could get out of here on your own when you have left, uh, already left. You cannot reason your way out of this, fledgling. There's no compromise with what I am. At least she's upfront about her intentions. Um. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole. 
and I will get what I want. You have no exit. You have no hope. You live and die by my whims, and my whims alone. Don't ask her what she wants, just slay her. Is that all the advice you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. She's just a princess. Don't overthink it. She is clearly not. She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. We're on the back foot. The back foot keeps us nimble, keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive, if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. Um... Do another quick save. Um... I want to try and get out of here, here with her if I can. It's kind of my goal right now. Um, We're play dead. playing dead. It's unexpected. It could work. As the princess lunges from the shadows once more, you collapse to the ground, feigning death. She lands directly on top of you with her full weight, nearly crushing you into the dirt, but then... Silence. Only broken by the sound of your beating heart. I got an achievement. It actually worked, didn't it? Only, what do we do to make her leave? Do we just keep playing dead? She sniffs at you, shifting her weight uncomfortably as her face finds yours. Her breaths are hot and oppressive against your skin. Have you seen my great big eyes? Because they see you, fledgling. They see your heartbeat pulsing in your throat. Move! Now! But it's too late for you to move. Her jaw unhinges, and she swallows you whole. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no, this isn't it. You are in a dark and caustic place. A thick, fibrous yeah, yeah, lining strips around you. It's Reload. I survive. Jungle, barely moving out of the way before the princess surges past you with a speed that makes her practically unseen. Trying to make it not in the stomach here. Um. Why do you want to kill me? Why does me? anything kill anything else? She needs to. I didn't say I wanted to kill you. It sounds like she wants to do something even worse. What she wants only matters if she wins, and you're not going to let that happen. Unless if I get in the stomach and kill her from there, which I didn't do last time, I'll let her get out. Why do you want to eat me? I don't question who I am or what I want. I simply do. To act is always better than to react. To do is always better than to watch. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you do well to listen to her. Less standing around asking questions, more doing exactly as I say. A tickling sensation rises at the base of your neck. Flee. We can't keep doing this. Uh, quick save. Stay alive. <laughs> or maybe she's a little faster. You avoid her slavering jaws, but she manages to graze you, her titanic momentum skinning you along your side. It's like being sideswiped by sandpaper. How is she that fast? You're bleeding now. You instinctively touch your side, testing her claim. It's wet, and stings from the gentle touch of your fingertips. A costly mistake. We can't make it again. 
We will make it again unless something changes. We have to break the pattern. We need more time. She's cutting off our escape. Our game is nearing its end. Um... Stop hiding and show yourself. If you want to see me, you should get better at seeing. She knows that her strength lies in shadows and secrets. She won't reveal herself unless she has to. She's more tense this time. She means this next blow to be the last. The mere thought of moving again makes your bloodied side ache. We're exhausted. We're bleeding. We're still alive. We owe it to ourselves to move. Uh, quick save? Play dead, got us eaten. I'll try and hit her back. Go again. Once again, you have to avoid the full force of the impact, and once again, you are too slow to come away unscathed. You're starting to get tired. You're making mistakes. This isn't working. We have to do something. We have to figure out a plan. Don't plan ahead. Act on the now. All that matters is that we stay alive. We're trying, but we can't keep this up much longer. We have to. We keep up or we die. You're getting slow. She seizes the opportunity, lunging once again from the darkness, fangs bared and claws flashing. She attacks over and over and over, and each time she leaves with a little piece of you. Too tired to think, but we have to think. We have to move. It's too late. Before you get the chance to react, it's over. she makes her last foray from the dark corners of the room, unhinging her dripping maw. Her eyes fierce and full of hunger. You do your best to dive out of the way, and you partially succeed. Well, I got an achievement out of it. Yes, the princess fails to swallow you whole. She only swallows your lower body. That's just as bad. That's worse, even. It's death either way. At least this will be a faster end. You look down to see that the dirt between Ooh. you is strewn with your intestines, trailing all the way up and disappearing behind her blood-stained teeth. Your legs are nowhere to be seen. You start to go into shock. The princess, bloody saliva dripping from her lips, idly gnaws on what's left of you as you rapidly fade away. I didn't mean to do that. I still need to devour you. And it doesn't count if you're dead. Well, we're not dead, we're... But you don't have time to protest her premature observation of your death, because everything goes dark, and you die. The den. This is new, right? You're on a path in the wood. That didn't work. We're going in with a plan this time. We're not getting stuck in another loop. Just acting on instinct. We're stuck in a big enough loop as it is. Instinct was keeping us alive. Until it wasn't. So what are we supposed to do? Great, so you've been here before. That doesn't bode well. You're not supposed to have been here before. This is supposed to be one and done. So you know more than you're letting on. Yeah, what he said. Of course I do, but believe me, it's in your best interests. The more you know about the princess, the more difficult your task will be. Why is that? Having me explain why would defeat the whole purpose. There are simply some things I'm not allowed to tell you. It's a hard rule. And whose rule is it? Who's telling you to boss us around? We've died twice already, and if you want us to stay alive this time, it's in your best interests to give us an edge. It's my rule, and this conversation is over. Uh, 
Um, what's the plan? She spent as much time as she could in the shadows. So we're gonna draw her out. But she's fast. And she's clever. We're clever too. So this time we're not gonna let her cut off our escape. We're gonna lead her to the stairs ourselves. It'll be a lot easier to deal with her once we can actually see what she is. But you already know what she is. She's a princess. Yeah, right. A princess we couldn't see, and one that had big, sharp teeth, too. How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing our job? Sharp teeth. Path is different than it was before. You're right. This is different, isn't it? I'm starting to lose track of things myself. Ground is ground. It doesn't matter what shape it takes. We'll adapt. If it looks different, that's because the situation has started to spiral out of everyone's control. So please, disavow yourself of the notion that you can just come back here and fix this place if you manage to make a mess before that line of thinking leaves you yet another world in ruin. Though, as evidenced by you dying twice, it's safe to assume the fates of the worlds you've left behind don't concern you very much. Consider this your last opportunity to make things right. For you, and for the rest of existence. But especially for you. Clearly we're not getting anything out of him. I want answers. What's going on? What do you know you're not telling me? Like I said, I've told you as much as I can without putting you at a disadvantage. If anything, I've told you too much. You've already died by her hands twice. You shouldn't need much in the way of motivation. Well, if we just leave, what happens then? Doesn't seem like she can escape on her own. Maybe not quickly, but it's inevitable that cabin won't last forever. And she will. Forget I said anything. Just treat this with the urgency it deserves. I think it seems like all our answers in the cabin. Let's see this through. You make your way down to the cabin. Your fated confrontation awaits. You know what to do. Alright, we've been over the plan. Go to her out of the shadows. Make her show herself. And what if she doesn't want to be seen? We'll figure out a way to make it happen. And if that doesn't make her any easier to fight? It will. It's always easier to fight what you can see, no matter how big or toothy she might be. See? The interior is dark and overgrown. Vines and brush obscure so much of the place that, had you not seen the exterior, you might not have noticed this was a cabin at all. The only furniture of note, if you could call it that, is a knotted stump, a pristine blade embedded in its exposed rings. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. If there's a way forward, that mirror is blocking it off. What are you talking about? There is no mirror. It's just the stump and a narrow tunnel that leads to the basement. He isn't tricking us. Can you feel the wind? It's telling us there's a hole in that wall. Our eyes deceive us. Then either way, we need to investigate. Might as well get started. I'll take the blade again. It's a person here. You really think being unarmed is best? I hope you know what you're doing. But let's not forget that it's up here if things go south. The steel claw makes us sloppy, too confident. We'll be faster without it. You step forward, approaching the small hole that leads to the basement, hesitating before you enter the princess's lair. Haven't you been paying attention? We're not hesitating. This supposed hole is blocked by that old mirror. That mirror isn't part of this place. It's seeped through from somewhere else. 
it, if there even is an it, is a hallucination. Like you said, you've been here twice before. Your mind was bound to start playing tricks on you eventually. It's so grimy. Maybe we can wipe it clean and finally get a look at ourselves. Wipe it Reach clean. forward and wave your hand over the open hole leading to the basement. See? Nothing. Tricks of the eye. No one sense can be trusted on its own. You step forward into the darkness. If there were once stairs leading into the basement, there is nothing left to attest to their existence now. There is only a long tunnel of packed earth growing more narrow as you descend. It smells of mold and decay. The damp walls leave streaks of dirt along your body as you're forced to hunch, then finally squat down on all fours in order to continue. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. As you crawl forward on hands and knees, you're met only with the sounds of ambient earth. No voice slinks confidently up the stairs. No entity threatens violence or pleads for safety. Stay quiet. Don't give her a sound. You'll have to fight. I'm ready to let you out of here. The princess leaves your remark unanswered. See? She knows. We have to be like her. Focused. Present. Patient. I suppose it'll take a little more than words to coax her out. Let's keep going. You put the voices to the back of your mind and proceed down the stairs. The basement is dark and cavernous, a gaping moor threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here, save for what little starlight has managed to filter down the tunnel. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. Stay on your toes. We take a step into the shadows, and as soon as she moves, we jump back, make her follow. From there, we trap her in the tunnel, draw her out of the cabin, whatever it takes to get her out of her element. Then we're safe. Quiet, are we? She doesn't respond. I assume that means her answer is yes. Let's try to lure her up. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness, waiting for any sign of movement. That's right. Keep steady. Don't let your nerves get the better of you. There, she's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. But you've already started your swift escape. That's stage one. Now stay focused. You dive into the tunnel and begin scrambling up towards the cabin. You hear her behind you, claws raking at the dirt, chains rattling, breaths hot and heavy with the effort of the ascent. But the sounds are coming slower now, the breaths pained and stuttering. You no longer sense frantic motion behind you in the tunnel. You risk a glance. I gotta achieve it! She is a broad and sickly creature, her withered and emaciated flesh clinging to bones too large to fit in the narrow space. She managed to squirm her way into the tunnel in pursuit, but now she's stuck, incapable of either moving towards you or returning to the open darkness of the basement below. So that's what she's become. She wasn't like this when we started. Was she? No, she wasn't. Looking at her makes me feel... sad. Yeah, now that we can see her, she doesn't feel like much of a threat at all. Her eyes look up at yours, wide, pleading. Come back. You can imagine them saying, don't leave me here. But you shouldn't listen to the sad eyes of a vanquished enemy. She wants nothing more than to change places with you. If you want us to ignore her, then why would you tell us any of that wide-pleasing eyes begging for mercy? 
business to begin with. All it does is make us feel conflicted. I'm merely describing things as they are. It's not my fault that her eyes had something to say, even if that something was a ploy, which, if I might stress, I pointed out to you. What should we do about her anyway? Can she still end the world like this? She hurts. We should help. Maybe we should try and talk to her. This is a good opportunity for information. We shouldn't waste it. That's a terrible idea. She doesn't know anything. She hasn't even said a word since you got here. Let's talk. Well, I mean, my only option is to peacefully approach the princess. You cautiously make your way closer to the princess, her eyes avoiding yours with the silent resignation of a defeated predator. Ah. But you don't get the opportunity to speak to her, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. It's kind of a disappointing ending, like the She's last gone. one was. Where did she go? Arsenia? It's kind of as disappointing as the last one, was just like. Just, nope. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. And your reeks of death. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Small distance as you approach. Gaze. Gone. Are you me? You... Okay. What different can I ask the narrator this time? Um. I could just destroy the mirror. I kind of just went from the top, right? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess, why? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. And despite how far you've fallen, you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. contains death, what is she? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Um, I'm gonna scroll to see different options here. She's capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be. Can I just will her into something small? As you are now, you won't be able to will her into anything. You don't work the way a living being does. Not anymore. And as you were before, you couldn't be trusted with the knowledge of what she is. No one could be trusted with that knowledge. Intrusive thoughts have a way of creeping in and ruining everything. It's why I had to die. I work the way a living being does. Not anymore. Am I not a living being? You never were. You are the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. For a time, this construct could help you approximate being alive, confining your mind to a single reality. But you've experienced far too many lives for it to work much longer. Well, thanks. Why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? Are you asking me to spend my final moments psychoanalyzing you? <sighs> she wound up a princess because you wanted her to be a princess. As to why, maybe she needed to be beautiful, 
important above you, but on a level you could still approach. A herald of things to come. I don't know. Gods are supposed to be beyond comprehension. I really shouldn't try and anthropomorphize you like this. Scrolling down. What if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? Can we just stay here together and leave the people out there alone? It wouldn't work. Her nature as the shifting mound makes it so nothing can last forever as it is now. It wouldn't matter how long the two of you waited. Eventually she would find a way to leave. And then everything would change. Everything would face oblivion. And until then, the clock ticks on. Scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. The people out there beyond the walls of the construct, do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do to them? Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, who cares about dying? I've died plenty of times. You haven't. You flirted with dying. You've played pretend. But your consciousness is an unbroken stream. Uh, scrolling, scrolling. And how do you know everyone else doesn't also experience death the way I do? They obviously don't. You experience death the way you do by design and by your unique nature. Scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> just try it down to the wall. I think you're wrong. I don't think dying is bad at all. I think you're just making all this up as you go. If you really want to waste valuable time telling me I'm wrong, and we both know I'm not, then that's your prerogative. Um... Lie. Rest easy. I'm gonna destroy her. Are you lying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece, and my time is up. I'm just an echo, and every echo fades away. You know what you have to do. The town of the really glass shadows, you see yourself with newfound clarity. Narrator is right, you are the long quiet, a vast and innocent god. It's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. Bring the den to her. Wherever the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness. There is nothing for you to find. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. Okay, so I can skip through some of this. Let's quick save again. Um... What happens now? Ever the passive pl uh... I'm gonna just okay, let's quick save. And I thought he was gonna have a reach this point slay. I know. And I've been waiting for you to see it through. Violence has always been our language, hasn't it? If this is what it takes to save you, then so be it. This is why I saved, by the way. You are devoured. Pray for something bigger than you that stalks and slinks in shadows. But even after the pain of defeat, you returned. 
The dance is its own truth. It is the movement that matters, not the pause you mistake for an ending. I check my loads. Quick. Um. Okay. There's that there. There's a regular save return. Um. Would you have us fight forever? I would have you realize that what you decry as suffering is beauty. But even as you stir to wakefulness, you cling to mortality that was never yours. What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, do you still have who you started with? A person is not a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that feel it. Okay, so here's the stop the fight early option. Let me click save here. Stop the fight early and surrender. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. Well, I got it. The final keep piece it it. lies with you. For yourself. All into yourself. I am an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is you. Feel your wings spanning in a cosmic sail, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonist tension to a finite plane. Feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. That does not yield. I love you. Take her hand. All at once, the un unyielding tension breaks. You're free, and she is with you. It's magnificent. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you have always been, and just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, two of you will never be alone, and two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. There are no endings, only new beginnings. Um, turn the main menu. Load. Um, okay, I can't view anything from in here. Okay, load. We'll load this. Um, this is good, wasn't it? You always be good if you choose to live in it. Do not linger on the highs and lows. They are fleeting strokes on a larger canvas. Oh, my eyes off. What is a person? Is it their body? Okay, we will not surrender early here. 
Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons. But what am I if I'm not alive? You are you. I kill you, you kill me. Back and forth we go. Faster and faster and faster. I kill you, you kill me. Hollow eyes watch from the dark corners of a forgotten place, flooded by emotions left unspoken. The tide rises. I kill you and me. An ending is a passion that can only be expressed with a moment in time. It is a seed for a new beginning. To linger on an ending is to rob it of its life. And without me, all that's left to do is linger. Um, if I save it again, does this just go right back into the same thing? Yeah, that's okay. Upload! Back we go! I deserve what you did to me. There is no deserve, no punishment, no retribution. There's only action and reaction. There are a few things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me. And I am the only thing like you. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? Um... I wish I could share my heart with you. But you already have in so many ways. It is beautiful and adored when movement slows and the dust settles. I hope you'll leave with me. Your heart is trying to sink into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you, forever and ever and ever, consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Um... I want that feeling back. It never left you. You just need to open your heart to me once more. The clash between you abates, you begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. I remember something without removing the relations which define it, to destroy that. But what you perceive as evil is to damn everything you perceive as good. Open your eyes and accept what we are. Okay, we're back I can skip things. All right, so let's do a save here. So we've got some options that involve slaying. Um, let's fight for a better world, I'm sorry. Even now you think you can destroy me. If it takes all of eternity to break your delusion, I will still break it. You don't have to face her alone. Um, You'll never be able to strike a decisive blow from out here. There's still a piece. Oh. I'm going to take nothing. that as a yes. Oh, God. So if I load, I'm just gonna go into the same stuff. Load. I 
How do we leave? Nothing brings me greater joy. Oh, okay, that's just back to that. Got it. Done everything you can to make me understand his perspective. You keep diminishing, dismissing mine. If you think you, you can change me, then I must be able to change. Did I say that before? I won't kill you, but I won't let there you free. There is no something else. This, what we are, is everything. Whatever you're trying to do, right now. Oh. What's this one Apparently like that's here? not true, but we can worry about it later. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume. Um, save. No. Too bad. We're going. Now. Fine. Okay. Take the place. That's probably for the best. Into the basement. Don't know what you want for us. She sounded just like that. Timid and gentle. Only she didn't know us. Continue. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. What's that knife for? Have you changed your mind? Are you going to kill me? What if we just talk for a bit? Maybe we can figure this out. Okay, let's just properly save it. Here, I guess. Save. Turn. Slay. So this is really it, then. Let's see this through. So this is what it feels like to actually die. I think this is for the best. I don't know what the world would be like without me. But it can't be that bad if it still has you in it. I've always loved you. Don't forget me. The bling of the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small, melancholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. The reaction brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged and left each of you with a piece of the other. Destroying her once and for all, you also destroy the part of yourself, but the world hasn't ended. Things continue on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. She's not a small part of her is with us. Is that a metaphor or are you being literal? It doesn't matter. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. Leave. Leave the basement behind. Then the stairs. You leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. Path in the woods outside there an empty canvas, but there is even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of your labor, a world free from death. Set yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. You feel your wings spanning across the sail, twisted and crumple and bound and exiting tension in a, to a finite plane. You feel a glass of concert pressing on you, find you across the infinite sides and infinite angles, you push back and strain against it. We've seen this, but it's not letting me skip it. It does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. 
All once the unyielding tension gives way. And then the shattering. You are free. And before you lies the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality, one forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. It's finally over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. We really did win, didn't we? We're the house now. We get to make the rules. This is nice. No more hunting. No more running. Just us. And whatever's out there. Absolute reality. Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? And who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? The whispering, and the coercion, and the bickering. Everything horrible about being alive has stopped. I could get used to this. That wasn't very hard at all. Speak for yourself. Well, boys, how does it feel? We're not just on top of the packing order. We are the packing order now. I hope this was all worth it, because I'm personally inconsolable. Lucky for us, you have forever to get over it. Time mends a lot of things. You'll get better. Here, here. To our vanquished foe. It's good to be back. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. We can do that, yeah? Yeah. We can do that. Dawn, a new and an ending dawn slay the princess um well let's load and sit with her um I don't want to be a god I don't think I want that either are you the same as you are out there I don't feel the same I feel smaller. I don't want to hurt anyone. There has to be a way out of this. I don't think there's a way out, but maybe there doesn't have to be an ending. I'm able to do the things you believe me to be able to do. So make me put it all back. Help me fix the Echo's construct and make us both forget. Help me send us back to the beginning before we woke up, before either of us saw the truth. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Um... We did last time, right? We were saying to do anything to help them, the people out there, if you continue to exist, then don't they continue to die and suffer? If you believe this helps them, it will be uh, help them, right? I won't forget you. I don't want to forget you either. But unless we do this, you'll have to choose right now between me and everyone else. We're talking about this right now. How do we know we haven't done this before? Since fair, I want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. But you won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Is there any other way? I think you brought that knife down here for a reason. It has to be a part of how this ends. Um... Read her plan. Okay. If this is your choice, then we're doing it. I guess I'll see you on the other side. I have a in her gaze. Yeah. It's gonna be okay, I love you too. Quick load. Um... 
I need to go back to being it a god. feels like it is. You wouldn't have come here if you were just going to go back. So it's back here eventually. I'm just trying to see everything again. I haven't done this before. We have done this before. I'm just supposed to do this forever. And things will end worse. What if when I make my way back here, I'm different than I hurt you? None of that will happen. Because you'll still be you. And I'll still be me. I didn't know that we have to decide this every single time forever. I know because it doesn't matter how many times we've hurt each other. I've never stopped caring about you. And if you feel the same, then everything is going to be okay. Um, if I stay I'm here, sorry here, too. Go back into the ending we just saw. No. Then we did what we set out to do. Come on, let's get going. We don't need to linger down here anymore. This is what we already saw, right? The cloud. So this is really. Leave. Yeah. So this is all of what we've seen already. Do it. Everything is going to be okay. I love you. I run and leave. Well, any more options for the endings, right? Achievements look like now. Illusion of choice and everything is possible, nothing is. Okay, so there was something with the tower with like being obedient. Oh my gosh, I still don't have a good ending! Arr! I suppose a good ending. something with doll I wonder if this okay there's learn advantageous terrain and win okay, there's still stuff to find I'll just have to figure it out Stuff with the tower, I'll have to figure out. There's still more princesses to find, it looks like. Yeah, so quite a few princesses to find. Well, at least a handful. So. So with the gray. Oh my god, there's still so many princesses. Well, good to know. I guess we'll go back to figuring things out next time. So thank you for watching. We hit the end again and we're gonna have to start over from the beginning and try and figure some things out here, right? So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. It helps with the algorithm. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All support group greatly helps with keeping content like this and more. Found links for that in the description below, along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching, and until next time, this is Rinium T signing out. Bye!